Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amiri. In this video, we are going to learn how to use the REST API to get a list of the pipeline, execution history, and uh, also we can also create a pipeline or even delete the pipeline. Uh, so that's uh, very easy to do that. And uh, we can uh, go to the portal here. First of all, uh, see, this is my data factory. I want to introduce you to a few of the components here or uh, the resources I have. Uh, here I have pipeline one, pipeline, uh, sorry, pipeline, pipeline three, pipeline four. So these are three pipelines are sitting there if I go to the uh, monitor and uh, I can go to the execution um, probably let's see if we have some executions so let me do last uh, seven days and I should have some uh, few of the executions so pipeline runs right there and uh, see right there are two pipelines I have executed in past uh, pipeline and pipeline one now uh, these all information I can use from here but uh, the Microsoft also does provide the rest API and you can gather that information and uh, you can also create the components and uh, delete the components or resources whatever you call these uh, now if you will research search uh, for uh, something like this uh, um, let's say we will do uh, Google dot com and here we'll say rest api at your data factory so now once i, I open that uh, it bring me right here and you can see the link um, so it's called docs.microsoft.com uh, en.us uh, rest uh, and uh, then you have api and data factory pipelines um, so it and uh, brought us uh, here in this page um, you can see right there you can create or update you can uh, create run you can uh, delete you can get the information and uh, you can list by factory and uh, there are a lot more uh, there are things that you can do uh, right here if uh, you want to do about triggers uh, as well uh. so let's uh, start with the pipelines here now if i want to get the list of those uh, this by factory i can click right there and uh, i can simply click right here and uh, uh, uh it will start working for me now i'm going to go back here actually and uh, for I'm going to open new tab so I don't have to redo so right here I'm going to say open in a new tab and here I'm going to click it try once I click on a try what's going to happen it's going to ask me some of the parameters first of all it is asking me my factory name I can go to the right here in your data factory click right there switch data factory and subscription I can provide my name of the data factory I'm going to copy and bring right here now then the next it asks me what is my resource uh, group um, so I can provide the resource group right there and the third uh, it is going to ask me um, yeah it's not asking me other information is uh, this is my subscription and uh, this is my API version that's automatically populated um, I, I can add more parameters if I want to and here I don't need header or, or anything like that so I can simply go ahead and uh, run and once I run it it's uh, going to tell me response code that's 200 that's success uh, and then it's uh, telling me some uh, header information right there and here is the body that's bringing me all the information for me if you remember that uh, in my data factory I have a uh, uh, pipeline pipeline 3 pipeline 4 um, and a list by factory that's what we are looking for right so right here you can uh, see your pipelines um, so you have this uh, type here and uh, the, the name of the pipeline is pipeline and then uh, you can go for another pun name and uh, you can find uh, your second pipeline um, so see right there starting from here so the first one was ended there and then uh, the next one starting here and then you have another pipeline right there so it is returning a json of each pipeline and that's the in my case i have only three pipelines now let's go back and maybe we want to create a pipeline that's possible as well so we can click on here say create or update in my case i'm going to open a new link here and now what i can do here i can say try once I do try, it is uh, um, these are the parameters you can see right there. I can pass them. So I'm going to pass uh, the same information I did uh, last time. So my data factory name there. And now, right there. And uh, I'm going to call this one pipeline 5. Okay. So pipeline 5 and in the resource group uh, where I would like to have this uh, created. And uh, now I'm going to go ahead and this is my resource group. Uh, 
that's where my data factory is uh, i'm going to provide right there and uh, then uh, i uh, it automatically selected my subscription and the uh, api version is just fine and here i have to provide the body as i want to create the pipeline i need to provide uh, some uh, code so i you can write your own code or uh, you can uh, let's say you want to make a copy of this uh, pipeline if i click right there and uh, now i can go right here get the code and uh, copy this entire code so I'm going to copy to the clipboard and here I can bring it back and paste uh, right there. So now you see right there it says pipeline test. I can simply remove this. I don't need this. And uh, uh, that I deleted the name because I already have uh, provided the name right here, pipeline 5. So let's see and uh, give a try if it works. So let's hit uh, try. It says that uh, response code 200. It means uh, and uh, now it should be returning us this uh, JSON body out of that and uh, let's say pipeline 5 um, let's go back uh, here in data factory and uh, we refresh our list uh, and see if uh, the pipeline has been created uh, and remember that pipeline name was pipeline 5 okay so let's uh, go to the pipelines here drop down and here is my pipeline 5 and you can see that it has a script uh, activity so this was a, a copy of uh, this uh, pipeline so that's uh, had only pi script task uh, or activity now that's how you can actually take uh, your different uh, scripts uh, for your, your uh, pipelines and make some changes and just um, maybe create a duplicate pipeline or new pipeline, whatever you want and do that. Uh, now let's say if we want to delete this uh, pipeline and that's possible as well. Uh, so I'm going to close this uh, and uh, I'm going to go to the REST API again and here is the delete. Uh, so delete the pipeline. Uh, so it uh, is uh, using delete uh, command here. Let's try that. And now we have to provide the same information data factory name here and then uh, just resource group and then pipeline name which we want to delete so here uh, we are gonna go right there provide our pipeline now pipeline 5 that's the name and I have to provide the resource group so I'm gonna copy paste resource group right there okay so we copy and uh, paste it right there and uh, that should do it and now we don't have to do anything else uh, I'm gonna go ahead and run this uh, once I run it uh, it's, the shuna, it's uh, going to delete that uh, so response code to success uh, and did not return any JSON uh, because it is uh, deleting uh, a pipeline um, pipeline of uh, five uh, should be deleted uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, refresh um, okay and then uh, we should have only three pipeline left uh, because we deleted the pipeline five uh, so we have three pipelines left and then I can uh, um, see right here in the drop down the pipeline 5 has gone. Also if you are interested uh, you can use the postman uh, uh, that's another tool uh, to use the REST API and uh, that's very easy. Now here um, let's uh, go right here and uh, if I want to do something uh, uh, you see right there uh, the requ uh, request per view so see it is using get function here and uh, now we are saying list uh, of the factories right so if I provide all that information it has uh, updated this link and I can copy this entire link and uh, you can also uh, copy this change to your subscription here change to your resource group uh, you change to your data factory name uh, right here and then provide that uh, URL uh, so as I provided the information here so it uh, updated this uh, entire um, link so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, open in uh, let me open in the SSMS uh, so I can copy paste for you okay so I'm going to scroll all the way here and uh, you can see right there so I have to copy this and this is the same uh, uh, URL uh, that uh, can, you can build by yourself by providing uh, the um, factory name so, and uh, other information, subscription name, resource group name and all that. Uh, this is the one I just uh, um, copied. So I uh, provided the parameters here. That's why this guy is created. Okay, that's not a big deal. You can do that. Now go to the postman and in the postman you created a collection and in the collection uh, uh, we can uh, go to the plus sign here and here uh, we are going to tell like which uh, command to use uh, I'm saying get uh, and then uh, I'm entering uh, the request URL you can uh, control V here and now 
I need to do authorization and here I'm gonna use a Brewer token so I'm gonna go right there and just delete this part and I'm gonna go back to my request here and that's the token I'm gonna copy so I'm gonna copy all the way at the end and then post it back there and now I can send this request and see what happened the same results what we got there from the our uh, REST API right here so this is pretty much the same request if I will do it return me all those JSON but here in the postman you are returning the same thing uh, it is returning you the ID that has uh, your data factory name and all that then uh, this is your uh, pipeline uh, right there first pipeline and then you can go and take a look this is your second pipeline right there and then the third pipeline and keep coming all the way because you the request we sent was to get the list of the pipelines from the data factory so you can use either uh, you are directly try from here the code or they they have uh, you know this uh, uh, interface uh, from where you can uh, query the rest api and get your information or you can use the postman uh, to get that information if you are interested uh, to see how many pipeline has been run and, uh, and uh, you want to see some activity run information and all that that's possible as well uh, so see right there we are here in the pipeline runs uh, and uh, under the pipeline run uh, i'm in the overview and here uh, i have these recommendations uh, so maybe i want to use uh, like say pipeline runs uh, get uh, rest api so i can do that or uh, pipeline runs uh, learn about how data factory service uh, query pipeline runs in the data factory base of input filter condition uh, so let's go for it and uh, see what we can do let's try and here it is going to ask us uh, provide the data factory name again so we provide the data factory name and uh, i am going to provide the copy and paste it there and then uh, it's asking us the resource group uh, right there and now it's uh, uh, took the subscription automatically and here is the body so see right there last updated after and last updated before so that's like uh, if I want to go right there uh, and cancel it out and go to my monitor and here uh, I will see like oh I had been uh, running these pipelines uh, from last like uh, you know let me do last seven days uh, and I want to get some data so see right there, there are two pipelines that has been completed now they are on uh, 22nd right now I can go and uh, provide the filter here so let's say last updated after and last updated before so if I go ahead and say like 20, 20, 20 and the 0, 1, something like that and then uh, 0, 1 and then I will copy the filter value here for the date and paste it there and then I'm going to go ahead and do something uh, 0, 4 here. Okay. So I just uh, starting from January 1st all the way to the April and uh, this is just a you know filter value I'm putting. So uh, you can change according to your criteria and uh, you can also learn how to write more filters or add more filters you know you can want to do it so and then you can go ahead and run it and it's going to show you so right here uh, that's what it is returning you so you can see right there test run pipeline has been executed and it was a manual the way it was executed if it would have been done by trigger it will show you uh, the type of manual or trigger so what was the status of it it was succeeded and then uh, you can see further pipeline one and it was also executed manual so this is how you will uh, see different information for pipeline runs and all that so you can use the filter here to filter those uh, records uh, i hope uh, this video will help you uh, to use in some uh, maybe scenario and uh, you know make your work easy thank you very much for watching please subscribe my channel and i will see you guys in the next video